Welcome to all of you. Today we are starting the new unit that is 3.1 IUPAC nomenclature of the organic compounds. In this IUPAC nomenclature of the organic compounds, the first compounds we are going to study the spiral compounds. Second compound is the fuse or bridge system compounds and third compound is the biophilian compounds. These three compounds we are going to be studied in detail in the 3.1 IUPAC nomenclature of the compounds. So in this compounds, IUPAC nomenclature of the compounds key to identify the spiral compounds is that the two cyclic rings joined at one particular point for example five member ring or the for example three member ring these two are joined together at only one points means at only one carbon atoms that compounds are called as spiro compounds next is the fused or bridge systems in the fused or bridge systems two ring systems are there one is the six member ring one is the four member ring so six member ring and four member ring again joints at one particular point again joints at one particular point two particular points not the one points these two ring systems are joined that is called as fused ring or bridge systems bridge there bridge means two carbons are the same for the two different rings two carbons are the same two joining atoms are the same for two dif different rings two different rings having the same <coughs> item attached okay so this is all about the uh, compounds one minute next one is the biphenyl compounds next one is the biphenyl compound means two phenyl compounds are attached by one bond biphenyl compounds two phenyl groups two benzene rings are attached by one bond systems so here detail they are given here this first is the spiral compounds attached at the attached by only one carbon that is called as spiral compounds second one is the fused or the bridge system compounds this fused or bridge system compounds attach to cyclo cyclic rings by common two carbon atoms which is common to all the two structures next one is the biphenyl compounds means two such benzene rings phenyl rings are attached by the one items one uh, bond so this is all about these three structures next one is the spiro compounds the spiro compounds have a common carbon atom between the two rings which is called as spiro atoms spiro compounds have a common carbon atoms between the two ring systems which is called as spiro atoms for example the given structures uh, one ring is the four five carbon atoms another ring two carbon atoms three carbon one commons so while uh, giving the um, nomenclature to these compounds so we follow the IUPAC nomenclature system so we follow it and the next firstly we have to understand what is a spiro compounds next one is the rules forming the spiro compounds rules what are the rules the word sp spiro followed by the square bracket the word spiro followed by the square bracket square 
measuring the number of carbon atom in each of the rings excluding the common carbon atom in the ascending order separated by a dot ascending order means here the examples in that examples in the square bracket first be, before the square bracket we write down we look at the structures we find that this is the spiro compound so we write down the spiro then the, in the square bracket we write down the first the number of carbon atoms present in the rings so number of carbon atoms is how much which is 4 in the one and the 2 in the other we write down this in the de decreasing orders firstly 4 then the 2 the word is Pyro followed by the square bracket mentioning the number of carbon atom in each of the ring excluding the common carbon atoms in the ascending order separated by a dot not a comma we use the dot here not a comma we use here the dot not a comma then the square bracket is followed by the name of the parent alkane means the total number of carbon atoms how much so square bracket is followed by the number of parent alkane corresponding to the num total number of the carbon atom in the ring corresponding to the followed by the name of the parent alkane corresponding to the total number of carbon atom in the ring including the spiro carbon atom because we have to mention the total number of how much number of carbon atoms there so the point where we have to mention the total number is the at the last that is in the form of parent alkanes so in that of the above case in the above case total number of carbon atoms how one two three four five six seven so total number of carbon atom are the seven so we write down here the seven means heptane heptane is the parent alkane names okay the square bracket is followed by the name of the parent alkane corresponding to the total number of carbon atom in the ring excluding the sorry including the spiro carbon atom also We cannot forget to write down the spirocarbon atoms because the spirocarbon atom is also important because we are not mentioning while uh, in the bracket in the bracket we are write down only number of carbon atom except the spiro so at the last we have to mention the all the carbon atoms which are present in that structure okay next the numbering start from the atom numbering starts from the atom which is directly bonded to the spirocarbons numbering start from the atom which is directly bonded to the spirocarbon smaller ring is the number first and then the number goes to the spirocarbon atom into the longer ring so while giving the names here is the structures so here is the one is the four member ring and another is the two member ring these are the two here the rings are there one is the four member ring another is the two members so we start from the carbon atom which is near to the spirocarbon and and the spirocarbons two ring are also same place but they start in the ring which is having the less number of carbon means a small ring so we start the numbering that is first second third fourth fifth sixth and the seventh so this is the uh, numbering to the this is spiro compounds so numbering start from the atoms which is directly bonded to the spirocarbons 
and the smaller ring is the number first and then the number goes to the spirocarbon atom into the longer ring next here is the example for the practice in the practice they are provided with the two rings one is the one two three four five four members another one is the two member rings one is the four member ring another one is the two member rings so these two rings are uh, joined together at the one carbon atom that carbon number is three that is spirocarbons so if there are except the four spirocarbon there are four carbon atoms one side two carbon atoms other sides means the small ring having the two carbon big ring having the four carbons except the spirocarbons so numbering should be start from the carbon which is adjacent which is nearest to the spirocarbons and the, of the less number means small rings then followed by the spirocarbon and then to the large ring big ring so in this case same we are done here one number to the small ring second number third number for the spirocarbon then the four number is for the big ring five number six number seven number these are the number we have given <coughs> we know that this is a spiro compound so firstly we have we written the spiro names then in the square bracket we write down the in the descending orders sorry in the ascending orders in small first that is two and big then one two three four then the close the square bracket then the name of the parent alkane the parent alkane should include the all the carbon atom including the spirocarbon atom also so total number of carbon atoms are the seven so it is the parent name is the heptane next here is the except the carbon atoms there are two rings having the one two three carbons and another ring having the one two three four there is the one ring is small another ring is the big <coughs> so numbering start from the nearest to the spirocarbons in the small rings then come to the spirocarbon then to the big ring so numbering in the small ring is the start one two three then come four number come on the spirocarbon then numbers big rings five six seven eight so we know that is a spiro compound so start from the spiro compounds then in the square bracket ascending order so in the ascending order small ring is <coughs> in the ascending order small ring is the three members then somehow big that is four member square bracket close then the octane then we write down the octane so this is the all about the nomenclature of the spiral compound next one two three four here is the one two three four five on the one side there is a five carbon atoms on the another side there is the three carbon atoms these two rings are joined together by the one spiral atoms mean this is the common item is the one common, common item that is the spiro items is there so we start the giving the numbering to these compounds with the carbons adjacent to the spiro items that is one two three four so with the small rings small ring having the three four members so start one two three four then come on to the spiro items then on the large ring that is six seven eight nine ten so ten is the total number that is ten is the parent pattern means it is decay it is a spiral compound so firstly at the start that is prefix is spiral then square bracket without only the ascending orders in small ring having the four 
big ring having the one two three four five four dot five not comma is yes, dot bracket square bracket close then the decay next compound is the now in this compounds having the substituents so we are numbering only for the substituents so that we can easily identify the number where it is attached here is the same number of ring carbon same number of members carbons on the rings so no problem is there so we first select the rings which having the substituents so one ring having the substituent another ring do not have the substituent so one ring having the substituent start from that one two means substituents comes on the second positions three then come on to the bridge uh, spirocarbon atom then on the another ring four five six seven so compound five amino two methane spiro three dot three heptane five amino two methane spiro three dot three heptane are the name of the compounds next one is the we are writing the firstly the substituents because we know that the, the IUPAC nomenclature I basic nomenclature we first we write down the substituent attached to the rings. So by the same way here we also write down the substituents, then we write down the ring systems. So in this ring one ring having the one, two, three, four carbon atoms, another ring having the three carbon atoms. So, numbering starts from the ring having the least number of carbon atom that is 1, 2, 3, then come on the spirocarbon atom, then 5, 6, 7, 8. So, numbering is so in this way, substituents should get firstly select the small ring, no problem. Then, in the small ring, we have the two ways to give the numbering to select the way in which the substituent get the minimum numbers so we start second first numbers giving the amino groups and the big rings we are also having the two ways to giving the numbering so start from the this way on which we will get the uh, substituent at the lowest number so the one two three four five six seven eight so one and six position one amino six methoxy one amino six methoxy spiro three dot four one two three one two three four dot four octane three dot four octane then next is the next is the spiro compounds four dot four neo 1 comma 6 diene diode diode ketonones is the compounds so spiro 4.4 .4, new 1 6 diode because the functional groups so this functional group should write at the end of the structures so it is the 1 6 diode next one is the a structure having the two carboxylic acid that is one five dicarboxylic acid total is a hept one comma five dicarboxylic acid next structures having the alkene systems so alkene system is the one and the, at the seven positions one or the six positions so one six diene total number is parent decane dec one six diene Next is the spiro four four known two in. So this is uh, nomenclature of the compounds. Last structure is the spiro two comma four hepta two four four six diene spiro two comma four hepta four six diene is the spiro compounds name. So this is the all about the structures
or a nomenclature of the spiral compounds. I hope that you all understand the which types of compounds uh, we called as the spiral compounds. So friends, in the next lecture we will study the fused and the bridge ring systems. Thank you. Thank you very much to the practice of these structures many many times so that you can understand and you remind you cannot create uh, you cannot um, uh, confuse because if you do practice then the no um, chances of the confusion is there in the same structure which we have studied all that structures practice and uh, remind it regularly the after one day two day properly remind all these things okay okay friends thank you